here in uh, Ngoma County uh, as the Kenya Red Cross Society uh, with a program to launch an anti jigger campaign. As a national society, we take this uh, as a very serious public health uh, issue that we, we want to be involved in for various reasons. One is, of course, it's a health uh, menace and uh, of course affects the health of very many children uh, in this country and also adults and uh, has also uh, actually been a cause of, of, of death as well. So we would like really to contribute to, to ensuring that we do not lose any Kenyan because of jiggers. Uh, for those who are doubting whether there are jiggers in this country, it is now confirmed. All parts of this country they have jiggers. And we cannot say jiggers are in only Bungoma, go to any part of this country. We have them. It's uh, slowing down uh, development as well because many children are not able to go to school because of this problem. Those who are infected by jiggers, they come from uh, poor backgrounds. These jiggers are associated with the poor hygiene. These jiggers have been associated with poverty. The government has been fighting these things since independence. Today we understand in this particular school where we are doing the launch, some children who are also being withdrawn from school because there is a stigmatization. That uh, those who are affected by jiggers, they perform poorly in the class. We would really like to contribute to ensure that uh, all the children can go to school without uh, having their education disrupted. It's also an economic uh, burden because of course families have to incur quite a bit of expense in, in trying to get a solution to this problem. Naumia sana kwa sababu wengia wana kosa kuenda shule kwa mara nyingi. Hata mara nyingine wanachelewa kuingia kwa shule na wakitoka wanachelewa kwaza kuingina hata kutembe hawawezi. How about how we could be able now to, to attack, to remove them? Apart from uh, treating uh, children and adults who are already uh, uh, affected, we are also looking at uh, distributing shoes. Uh, we are in partnership with an organization called Tom's Shoes in the U.S. Uh, who have donated 2 million uh, shoes to the Kenya Red Cross Society and therefore we will be distributing this to many other parts of the country, to children and adults who have been affected, uh, but also uh, within also our emergency operations, people who have been displaced and have lost uh, everything to be able to ensure that we prevent uh, the, the, the uh, jigger infestation. This national launch we expect to cover over 2,000 people because the number that has come is uh, overwhelming. Already we have run short of uh, gloves which we had packed which were over 1,000 and that shows that the number was actually large. Um, we have been covering Kandui Division, um, Sirisia, in, particularly in Malakisi, parts of Kapchai and uh, Bumula. In Ibungoma County, I think the best thing we could do now is collaborations. Now we have the county governments, yes, we have governors and this assembly. We have the national government, fine, they are there. I think there should be now collaboration between those two governments plus other agencies, organizations like the Red Cross. School going children and the villagers from uh, around Bumula constituency. Uh, we are removing jiggers from their feet, from their bodies, from their hands. There should be continuity in uh, seeing that uh, leaders address the issue of poverty in this country. Uh, they should uh, address the issue of uh, dissemination uh, to the uh, people in, in the country on uh, good uh, hygiene and uh, uh, good living especially. Uh, because Jiga, just like other simple diseases, is caused by only one thing and that is poor hygiene. I want to also thank all the partners that have collaborated with us. And we are calling on more partners to come on board to ensure that uh, we actually have a giga free society. With the close collaboration and networking, even with the provincial administration, maybe the message of uh, community hygiene can be spread so that uh, we can be able to tackle this uh, intervention. 
because without collaboration, even if the Red Cross does the work, then uh, we shall still go back to the same situation. So we appeal to the community, the provincial administration, and even the schools as they are teaching the children in every subject to try and sensitize them on community hygiene. Schools where we have had uh, intervention, there is a big difference. The head teachers have come to the office to appreciate. The challenges the schools have is attendance and then performance. But the attendance has improved in the schools where we have had interventions. It's going to make a real, uh, a real impact to the community to see what Red Cross can do. Because they, they believe that Red Cross only attends to our emergencies. But they have, they have been able to come here and see we have been able to do the jigger removal. We have given them two pairs of shoes each.